Hope or Heavens on the Go. Sunday, July 23rd, 2023. Topic God Still Speaks to His People. Part 1. Memory verse 1 Kings 3 5. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. Bible reading Genesis 12 1 to 4. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed, as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abraham was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. The message. God still speaks to this day, but unfortunately, many people do not hear him because they are too busy with the affairs of life. The painful thing is that people do not know what they are missing by not listening to their maker. In today's text, we read about Abraham's encounter with the Almighty God. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. Genesis 12.1 there are some lessons we can learn from this singular encounter that change Abraham's life. 1. God discovered the love and sincerity of Abraham, so he revealed himself to him. This love for God was demonstrated in his positive and prompt response to God's command to leave his father's house. Another lesson is that the dialogue between God and Abraham did not contain commands alone. It was backed by eternal blessings. The Bible says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. Abraham became the father of faith because the word of God penetrated his heart. In the scripture from where we took the memory verse, we read of the encounter of Solomon with the Almighty God. During that divine encounter, God gave Solomon a blank check. And this is a typical privilege enjoyed by those who have such dialogues with God. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, Ask what I shall give thee. 1 Kings 3.5 To be genuine children of God, we must surrender completely to all his commandments. This is where many people often miss it. They are not ready to obey God fully. They want freedom from his commandments. They want to take over the affairs of this life without any recourse to God Almighty. I encourage you to give your life to Jesus Christ today. Seek his face without ceasing, not just what he has to give, and you will receive great revelations from him that will transform your life for good. Prayer point. Father, please speak to me today and always. Father, please speak to me today and always. Bible reading in one year. Isaiah 32 to 34. Him for today, ancient words. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.